The first process here is the export view. What this does is it exports the data in JPEG format. And you'll notice here that it's done without any geo information, so non geo reference data. The purpose of this is as the data is batch processing and being created, I have an easy way using Windows Explorer to go in and view my output. This allows me to catch any possible errors in my output, indicating that I might want to stop the batch processing and go in and adjust my rule set. For exporting the actual data itself, you can see here that I've chosen the export thematic raster files algorithm and that I'm using the export type of classification and I'm exporting the data in GeoTIFF format. This will allow me to take the resulting export, bring it into Erdas Imagine and mosaic it shooting a seam line down the center. Once I'm finished with rule set development, it's a good idea to right click on your workspace and choose to roll back all. I'm going to destroy the history and all of the results. And as long as my rule set is saved and my customized import routine is saved, I can recreate these projects or any, at any time. The rollback all routine simply clears out that workspace, gets rid of any intermediate data, any saved image layers in those projects, and sets all those projects back to their original state. Once again, I highly recommend doing this prior to executing your batch processing routine. Now I'm ready to begin the batch processing routine. In order to do batch processing in eCognition, you need to have at least one eCognition server license. In my particular configuration, I have eight eCognition server licenses. I'm running all of this locally on a workstation with 16 cores, and that means I can have eight cores processing it at any one time. To begin the processing, I'll want to right click on my workspace and choose Analyze. I'm running the job locally on this machine. I'm going to load the rule set I developed for this project, and then I simply click the Start button. The state for all of my projects turns to waiting. Once they've been sent to a core for processing, the cha state changes to processing, and once the processing is complete, the state will change to processed. In addition to viewing the status of our batch processing in the eCognition developer environment, we can also examine things within the eCognition job schedule, which will launch within a web browser. While that processing is going on, I'm going to go into the workspace folder go into the results subfolder, which is created once I begin the analysis task. And this is where I'm going to go into that export view folder. Here you can see the JPEGs that are generated as the process is running. Once again, this is very handy because it provides me a quick and easy way to view the results of my classification process to identify any errors in my rule set so I can cancel the classification process and go back and make some adjustments. If I did want to cancel the classification process, I can simply go into eCognition, right click and choose cancel. Once the processing is complete in the job schedule view, you'll see that the set is listed as done. And with an eCognition developer, the state of all the projects changed to process. Moving over into our catalog, you can see that within the workspace in the results folder, all the JPEGs went to export view, but all the actual GeoTIFF land cover tiles went into this land cover view. Now I can mosaic these tiles. Moving back into Erdas Imagine, I can use a program like Mosaic Pro and I'm going to load in all of those GeoTIFF files.
Once I've loaded in all the files, I can generate seam lines and I can generate a geometry based seam line, which as you see here, cuts all of those tiles directly down the middle. And ideally, we won't see any edge effects due to the fact that we had at least 10% overlap. I could then choose to run the mosaic option and create a seamless land cover data set. That concludes this presentation. I hope it was informative. Just to keep in mind some resources that are out there, the eCognition community site is of course a great place to interact with other users and also to download sample rule set. You can read the blog we maintain at the Spatial Analysis Lab, Letters from the Sal, while we have more tutorials on using eCognition, including an in-depth video on using the customized import routine. And of course, if you feel the need to get some more information, my contact information is below.